Good afternoon, I'm your South Florida lawyer, Patrick McGeehan, and I am your best friend at your worst time. It's a great afternoon here in Miami, downtown Miami. It's brutally hot already. I'm wearing a suit and a tie. I stepped out of the car five minutes ago and I'm sweating to death. I can't wait until August. Anyway, my job for you is to take legal concepts and ideas and break them down into easy, understandable terms for the everyday person. I'm a simple-minded guy, so the more something is explained to me in simple terms, the more I understand it, and I try to relay that to you in those videos. That being said, I got a question, which I've gotten a few of the same question in the last couple of months since I started the social media campaign about Stand Your Ground Florida, Stand Your Ground Law, and self-defense, and how they work and interact. Well, they're two separate, they're two separate concepts. The way Stand Your Ground works is, According to the Florida statute, we have a very good stand your ground law. If you're in a place that you're legally entitled to be, doing an activity that you're legally entitled to do, and if some deadly threat comes about, and you react to that and confront that threat, you do not have to back down from that threat. See, before you had an obligation to flee the threat or escape the threat. Now you don't. Now you can stand your ground. So how does that work? Well, let's take a shooting for example. Let's say somebody tries to carjack you. You don't, you have an avenue of escape, you don't escape, you use deadly force and you shoot that person. You assert your stand your ground rights. You assert it immediately on the scene. And this is where having a lawyer on the scene of the shooting comes in real handy because you assert that to the police, the homicide detectives that are investigating the case, or you have your lawyer assert that and make that argument. A lot of times, if the police believe in your stand your ground claim, they won't arrest you. Okay, so what happens if they do arrest you? If they do arrest you, you have to assert your stand your ground rights to the court via a motion. You have to file a stand your ground motion, asserting your stand your ground rights. And a judge, not a jury, just a judge, hears the motion in a hearing, hears evidence, and makes a determination whether or not you can assert stand your ground. If you can assert stand your ground, either in court or before an arrest, you can't be criminally prosecuted and you can't be civilly sued. That's the beauty of the stand your ground law, where before we only had self-defense. So how does self-defense work? Well, let's say in our scenario that stand your ground did not work for you. The police didn't believe you, they arrested you, you lost your stand your ground motion, you're going to trial in your case. Now you have to assert the self-defense defense, saying that whatever you did, you were doing it to protect yourself, to defend yourself. And the jury in the trial makes the decision of whether or not you were defending yourself legitimately. So that's the interplay between stand your ground and self-defense. They're separate, but they can work in together in some cases. And that's why it is always recommended if you utilize deadly force to protect yourself or your family or your loved one, to immediately call an attorney. Get an attorney on the scene as soon as possible and assert that stand your ground. That'll keep you out of trouble or hopefully keep you out of trouble. I'm your South Florida lawyer, Patrick McGeehan. I hope that helps you understand the difference between stand your ground and self-defense. If not, send me your questions. I'm happy to answer them from this beautiful day in downtown Miami where it's already approaching 90 something degrees. And I can't wait for August. If you like this video, you like the videos I do, make sure you like and subscribe and encourage your friends to join. Feel free to share the videos. And as always, ask any questions you may have. I'm your South Florida lawyer, Patrick McGeehan, and I'm your best friend at your worst time.